Hey, good morning, everyone. So we are getting started here again today. We uh, just got dropped off at the trailhead by the hostel, the main roadhouse, which is an awesome hostel. Highly, highly recommend. Very clean, uh, very homey. The women that run it are awesome. They're very kind and helpful for the hikers. Uh, just uh, could not recommend it anymore. Definitely, definitely a stop for anyone and everyone. Um, they dropped us off at the trailhead and we are going to be hiking about 15 miles going up and over the Bigelow 4K Peaks, which are the last big climbs of Fort and which is crazy to think about. We are going to be having basically some really flat, flat, uh, and to little, no, little to no elevation remaining after we do these 4Ks here today. It's just insane. We are hoping to finish up in about 10 days. I think it's five days to Monson, five days to Katahdin, five or six to Katahdin, so maybe 11 days, but crazy, crazy thing to be almost done. All right, so it has been raining all day today and it is very, very cold. Not many views up Bigelow Mountain because we are completely socked in, as you can probably tell, but this has been a very cold, windy hike. Hey, good morning, everyone. So it is about 11 in the morning. We're just now getting on trail. Uh, it rained all day yesterday, all last night, and it finally stopped at about 10 in the morning. So we waited out at the shelter and uh, are now on trail. Fingers crossed that it doesn't rain anymore today, but it is uh, very cold again and all of our stuff is wet. So the only way to keep warm is to move, start hiking. So. We are going to try and do, I think, about 18 miles to a shelter that will be just before the Kennebec River. That crossing is actually, it's too big of a river, so the ATC has enlisted the help of folks to uh, go ahead and shuttle on kayaks the through hikers across the river. I think a few years back some folks died trying to cross that river, so just as a uh, safety measure they have some folks with canoes taking us across so they only do it from nine o'clock to two o'clock though so we can't get to it today so we will wait until the morning to make that crossing but it is uh gonna be a pretty flat day which is nice i think only like two thousand feet of ascent which is compared to yesterday i think we did six thousand so should be a very very cruisy day fingers crossed but the trail is nice and we can get to it in only maybe like six hours or so Look at this trail. It's beautiful. I hope it's this way the whole way to Katahdin. Oh, so nice to not have rocks and roots everywhere and having to navigate around them with every single step. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa, okay. Just saw my first moose. He was walking in the middle of the trail ahead of me. And thankfully when he saw me, he got spooked and ran away off into the woods, but I've always heard that they're very territorial. I'm kind of surprised that he ran away like that. He was a big boy too. That was scary. If y'all don't know, moose are much more dangerous than bears. So that freaks me out. And they can become very territorial and they can stomp you. They'll knock you down and stomp on you. Very scary. Whew. All right, thankfully he got away. Didn't get a chance. It was too fast for me to get my phone out and uh take some photos or anything but all right gonna be paying better attention now <laughs> all right so far i have been loving northern maine the trail is very very nice flat there's still some rocks and roots here and there but uh for the most part so much easier. You can move like two and a half miles an hour to three, close to three even. It's so nice. Very, very awesome. Compared to the like one to one and a half mile per hour we had been doing. This is a dream. It's not as 
warm as the other ones. So one of the things I've noticed about Maine is that you really are out in the wilderness. It is quiet out here. There have been times when I just stand there and there isn't a single sound. It is, it's hard to explain. There's no birds, there's no wind, there's nothing. I mean, you start hearing your heartbeat because it's so quiet. It is crazy sometimes. It's a pretty cool experience though. Definitely recommend to folks, if you wanna get out in the quiet, come to Maine. It's definitely some very secluded remote woods out here. Well, this is gonna be fun to cross. Trying not to get my feet wet. Uh, it doesn't look like that's gonna be possible. Well, I successfully managed to cross the river. Uh, was unsuccessful in keeping my feet dry though. Uh, so sometimes it's just, it's not worth it to try to rock hop. You're kind of putting yourself in more danger, even when you do that, of slipping and falling, uh, than just getting, go ahead and getting your feet wet. Uh, my feet have been wet pretty much all day. Anyway, from all the mud in the trail, so no reason to try to to avoid getting wet again. It's cold, but the socks do warm up in your shoes pretty quick, so not the worst. Well, it's actually been halfway decent today. I don't mind it. Hey, good morning, everyone. So yesterday was a, a nice, easy day. Trail was pretty awesome, and it did not rain on us, which was awesome. Uh, it did get cold again overnight, and as you can tell in the morning, it is cold. There's a, immediately a water crossing that we're likely gonna have to get our feet wet, unfortunately, but, uh, and then in about three miles, we got to cross the Kennebec River. I think that's pronouncing it right. Uh, but that is the river where the ATC is actually paid to have someone ferry us across due to uh, being a very dangerous, unabridged or unbridged crossing. So we will be taking that here today going into a quick town resupply. I think there's like a, a restaurant a little ways off <clears throat> from the trail, so I might try to go get some food. And then uh, plan is to actually do like 18-ish today and 18-ish tomorrow. And then the following day, spend most of the day at Shaw's in Monson. If y'all don't know, Shaw's is a famous hostel that is in the town just before the 100 mile wilderness. So once we go through the 100 mile wilderness, we will be at the base of Katahdin. So getting close, it's exciting. Ready to be out of, done with the hike now that it's getting cold. But yeah, let's get after it. The trail has been really pretty this morning. It kind of, whoa. <laughs> it, uh, that rock was a bit slippery. Uh, it follows the river for this little big stream that's right here uh, for quite a while. I assume that this is going to dump off into the Kennebec River and then uh, we will be able to cross. <laughs> Despite my fall just now, uh, it has been very, very nice to not be slipping and sliding all the time. When we were going through New Hampshire in the Whites and in Southern Maine, I mean, we were falling two or three times each day, every single one of us. And thankfully none of us had any serious injuries, a couple, some bad scrapes and stuff, but we were for the most part able to get those all bandaged up. Thankfully no sprained ankles, broken legs, anything like that. So it's, uh, it's dangerous out here sometimes. Here it is, the Kennebec River. You can see the ferry over there that will come and pick me up. All right, so currently back on trail. We had gotten off shortly uh, after the Kennebec River crossing uh, to go grab some food. There was a restaurant about two miles off trail. We were able to find a hitch out. A uh, gentleman who is planning to hitch or hike the trail in three more years for his 50th birthday. He was driving down the road, decided to pick us up and take us to the brewery or the restaurant but uh we had some difficulty hitching back so had to walk the two miles back to trail set us back some um 
It is currently about four o'clock. Got maybe two and a half hours of sunlight left. Gonna try to push as far as I can. Maybe do like an hour of night hiking, but we are not gonna make that 18 miles that we originally thought we we get we're off trail for about three or four hours. The restaurant that we were at had like a hot tub and a volleyball court. It's a cool spot, so it was definitely fun to hang out. Some nice couches. Did uh, some recharging of our electronics. But yeah, it's gonna be, it'll be a late night hiking, unfortunately. Hey, good morning, everyone. It is a, another cold and rainy morning <clears throat> in Maine. It seems like there have been more days like this than there have not been. But uh, yesterday was a complete flop to Canal on yesterday. Only did 10 miles because, <coughs> excuse me, completely got distracted by the restaurant, took us off trail for about four hours. Slow service, unfortunately, and then we got kind of distracted, hung out, and got a difficult time, had a difficult time getting a hitch back to the trail, so then that took even more time. So, ended up only doing 10 miles. That's all right, though. It kind of gave my foot a bit of a rest. Today, though, I am going to try to push to do 20. Two climbs, each about a 1,000 feet, and after that, it's very, very flat, so... Definitely doable. That'll leave about 10 more to do tomorrow to get into town, into Monson, uh, which not ideal, but it is what it is. The rest of my group had all gone ahead a little bit, but I did get an early start this morning. So hopefully I'll be able to catch up. My group really likes to uh, take their time whenever uh, it's rainy like this. So I have no doubt that they won't be even getting out of camp at least for an hour or two later than what I did today. So it's uh, it's going to be a nice day. I got staying positive here. And uh, yeah, let's get after it. All right, so the camera's probably pretty foggy. That's all right, I don't care. Oh my gosh, this today has been a day. So I did about 22 miles. I got about one mile left to camp. And... Uh, it has been pouring rain nonstop all day. It is about six o'clock and it just now finally stopped. But there also, the trail was just completely flooded. And when I say flooded, I mean from ankle, I mean 10 to 15 miles where it was just walking through water, either ankle high all the way up to knee high. And then there's two water crossings that literally get, went up to hit my hips. And I'm six foot four, and it was at my hips. My pack almost got wet. It was, I mean, this is ridiculous. The uh, rain made those so much worse. This is insane. This was probably the toughest day of hiking, despite it being relatively flat, that I've done in a long time. Very proud of myself for doing the 22 miles. The rest of my group is just a little ways ahead. So we will be camping at a shelter tonight, hopefully staying dry. I think some of the folks in my group had some issues with the rain last night. So I'm uh, hopefully there's some room in the shelter for them. I will just set up my tent. I stayed in the shelter last night. So all my stuff is nice and dry, but whoo, yeah. Sorry I didn't take any footage today. My uh, phone was put away tightly in my pack. And it was way too wet to film anything anyway. Would have been too foggy and wet on the lens. So, hey, it's what it is. But uh, yeah, today was an interesting day. Hopefully tomorrow's even better. All right, so getting started here today. And uh, just a recap from yesterday, probably the most intense day of hiking on trail. Uh, I think it would be a tough day anyway, but because of all the rain, it made it so much worse. But glad that that is done. We have nine miles to make it into Monson. So we actually got up and out of camp early at about seven o'clock. It's a really cold night. We were next to a river uh, where the shelter was at. And so a lot of condensation throughout the night. My sleeping bag is soaked. 
very frustrating, uh, but it is what it is. And uh, that certainly did not help keep me warm last night. Thankfully, we are going to town. Warm showers, warm food, warm indoors. Cannot wait to have a nice, dry, clean bed. Whew, this has been a long, difficult stretch, but we are in Monson. We're about to be in Monson. It's our last resupply point. It is then into the 100 mile wilderness. And at the end of that is Katahdin. Pretty wild, pretty crazy. Definitely ready to be done at this point. Maine is, Maine is killer. Maine is difficult. Again, I'm upset that I didn't get more film yesterday from how intense it was, but because it was so intense, it was difficult to get any sort of, getting my camera out and film it. I feel like that's been most of the trail. A lot of times on the videos, it looks very nice and easy trail. That's because I can't really get my phone out when the trail gets really difficult. But uh, yeah, it was just pouring rain all day yesterday. Nothing was, nothing was dry to even clean the lens, so. All right, well, this is just a small taste of what the trail was like yesterday. Seems like we're not escaping it at all today either. Nothing we can do about it. <sighs> yep, well, this is the trail here. We have to cross over that way and get nice and wet all along the way. God, this Maine, I hate every little bit about this trail on Maine. All right, well, I made it across the river, but I am now soaking wet. I hate these river crossings. That river went all the way up to my hip. I actually had to take off my fanny pack and uh, put it away because otherwise it would have gotten wet. It was that high of water. And now my feet are wet, my legs are wet, my pants are wet. Oh, and it's cold. It's like in the 40s right now, it's ridiculous. All right, I'm about a mile from the road crossing to get to Shaw's and we'll get picked up and taken out up that way. Uh, it is a very popular hostel. Kind of excited to check it out. It's, you hear a lot about it. So it's kind of cool to finally be here. Uh, we'll just stay one night, ideally and then we'll enter into the 100 mile wilderness. So excited to uh, be on this last section now. I've done that trip twice in the past.